Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this look using no foundation. I just wanted to show that you don't always have to pile on the foundation to look put together. You could always do something like this, which I think looks just as beautiful. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, you guys, and let's get started. So in this routine, the most important step is going to be your skin prep. We're not putting on foundation today, so you really want your skin to look its best. So skin prep is probably the most important step. So I'm going to go in first with the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer that you like that gives you a bit of a glow this tart one is really nice because it has highlighting properties in it so it's gonna really reflect light really nicely and just look really pretty on the skin so you can see that moisturizer just makes everything look really really glowy and healthy so i really really love this the next step in skin prep is to give your skin a little bit more highlight um, to do this, I really like to use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. Another good option is the MAC Strobe Cream. So any one of these would be good. And I'm going to take this and put it where I would normally highlight. So that's going to be the tops of my cheekbones here, right here, down my nose, maybe a little right there, and then just blend it in. So once you've rubbed that primer in, take a buffing brush and just buff everything out to make sure everything is a nice thin layer. This is the skin with the moisturizer and the highlighter on. Just looks really, really glowy and pretty. Why do I repeat myself so much? I don't know. Okay, next we're gonna go in and conceal. Um, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer today in Custard. Now this part is important. Make sure that your concealer is the same tone as your skin. We're not highlighting today, so you don't need it to be one to two shades um, lighter than your skin tone. You want it to be your skin tone. And you're just going to take it where you really need it. So you're going to want to go under your eyes. And right here in this area where you get the most dark because this area can get really dark and that can make you look really really tired okay so this is finished <laughs> I'm actually gonna go in with Urban Decay Naked Skin and then take a beauty blender and blend that out also take it up around your lids because that can really help brighten the area and make you look more awake. So once you've started blending out your under eye concealer, make sure you really take it down to your cheeks like this so it doesn't look like you have product under your eye and then nothing on the rest of your face. This is supposed to look like you have almost nothing on your skin. So if you just leave that triangle, then it's going to look very, very obvious. So once your under eyes are concealed, this is when you go in to conceal any redness that you may have, blemishes, pigmentation, just anything that you feel like you have on your skin. Go in with a concealer and even out your skin. So for me, I have uh, a little bit of pigmentation right here on my nose. I always get redness in this area. And I have some pigmentation right here. I also tend to get red right in this area. And I have broken capillaries right here that are really obvious. So again, take your beauty blender and just bounce all that in. Don't swipe it because then you're going to move the product and it's going to go where it doesn't need to. Okay. 
Once you've taken your beauty blender and blended all that out, go in with that same buffing brush and buff everything in. Again, so it's a very, very thin layer and it doesn't look obvious that you have product on your face. So really, really buff it in. Okay, at this point, if you're oily, go in and set your T-zone area with just a little touch of powder. Um, I usually don't get that oily throughout the day, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, okay, so we're going to add a little bit of color now because everything is looking very, very pale and flat. So we're going to go in with a little bit of color. I'm going to take this cream contour stick. This is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Now I'm going to take it and put it on the butt of my beauty blender instead of putting it directly on my face because this is just going to give it a more diffused and blended look. So once I have it on the beauty blender, I'm going to take off the excess. We do not want a lot. You can see a lot comes off. And then just go um, where you would normally bronze. So right here. Make it go up like this to meet your temple and your forehead. And we're just dotting this on so that it doesn't move any of the concealer underneath. So that's just going to give you a little bit of subtle color. Again, you can always go again with that buffing brush and go over the edges just so everything looks very seamless. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more color now. I'm going to go in with the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the color Papaya. So with this product, really put it on your hand to melt it down, otherwise it could be difficult to blend. You could go in again with the Beauty Blender. What I'm going to do is tap it onto my cheek and then blend it out with that same buffing brush that has a little bit of the concealer already on it. So I'm going to smile and then right here at the center of my cheek, I'm going to put, we're putting a very little amount. You just want a touch of rosiness, but nothing obvious. Kind of stipple it into your skin like this. And then when you have the color where you want it, go in with the brush and blend out the edges. Okay, so next up we're going to add a little bit of glow just so everything looks very, very dewy and pretty. Um, I'm going to go in with the Clinique, Clinique, yeah, Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. This is in, I think, the color 01, yeah, 01 Hefty Highlight. This is a cream product. I'm going to apply it with my fingers. Use any cream highlight you have. I'm going to put it on my middle finger right here. <laughs> Why? And we're just going to go right on the high points of our cheeks. Really, really blend this out, you guys. You do not want to see where the highlight um, starts and ends. I'm also going to bring it down the bridge of my nose and right here above the brows. Another thing you can do to make yourself look a little bit more awake is curl your lashes. When your lashes are up like that, your eyes look bigger and uh, you look more awake so I really love curling my lashes when I do something like this when I do this type of look I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference but these lashes are curled and these are not and this eye is already looking more open so this is a really good trick to do so you could leave it at that if you want and it'll look really, really pretty. Um, for those of you that do want to add mascara, add it just to the base of your lash and don't bring it all the way up and that, will, that way it'll look more natural and like you're not really wearing mascara. 
You definitely do not have to do this next part, but highlight is my favorite thing ever. So I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Sin Highlight. This is just a sample that I have. And just really, really lightly go over that cream that I put on. Lastly, I'm going to go in with that same multi-stick in papaya and kind of just pat it on like this. I like to go like this with my finger and kind of tap it out so it looks more natural and more like a stain than a lipstick. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look using no foundation. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you'll like, subscribe, and come back for the next one. Bye, guys.